Hey guys, me got my H17 here, and I just want to start by addressing one thing. Um, actually a few things. <laughs> I have a mole on my lip while I had it, and I had to get it removed, and so right now I stitched it in my mouth because it was like in my lip, it wasn't like outside it, it was like in it, and it just looked like a little lip freckle, and if you want to check that out, you might be able to see it in some of my old videos. Um, Another thing is I haven't been on in a really long time, and for those of you who enjoy watching my videos, I'm sorry, but I just, it hasn't been as worth it as I would like it to be. There aren't, I don't have many subscribers, and I was hoping in my time away there'd be more subscribers, and it just hasn't really happened, so I'm going to start to try and do some videos. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm going to start buying MAC, not only limited edition collection products, and create videos using those products instead of just the limited edition collection products, which are hard to come by. Especially since I get most of them at cosmetic company outlets. Anyway, but the haul, I'm going to start the haul. And I want to start by saying I had a really interesting experience at MAC. The MAC I go to has this really nice man who I've seen before, and he he's so nice, he's helped me out before. But it was just so busy today, so he was supposed to send some other people to help us at the regular Mac store. Um, but nobody ever came, and then we finally got helped. But I just, like, I wanted to look around. I wanted to experiment with colors and stuff, like, on my hand, like, testing out the products. And it just kept getting more and more crazy. Like, there were more and more people kept coming in. And it was just getting so overwhelming with all the products that I ended up just going to that Macy's. And stopping at the Mac counter because they have the same products. It's just a little bit different of a display, a little bit less products, maybe. I'm not sure. But I really liked it because it was like on the wall, so it was spread out and it was really nice. But, um, and the lady there was watching me and I find like we were gonna steal something. What were we gonna steal? You can't steal from Mac. That's like a sin to every makeup artist. But she was like watching us, like they're gonna steal something. No, I'm not. But, okay, I didn't steal anything. I bought it all with the money I earned from work. I worked for this money. It was not given to me by my mother. I have a job. Fucking me. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the haul. I went to MAC, and I got Ruben S. Paint Pot, and I'm just going to, it's like shimmery. It's, I kind of, no, it doesn't look anything like that. It's like gold. It's gold shimmery with like pink undertones. It's really pretty for when I decide to do just the paint pot. I can do that paint pot with like um, highlights above it and I'm good to go with like some eyeliner. I finally broke down the all that glitter eyeshadow. I've been, instead of buying single eyeshadows, I've been like buying limited edition um, eyeshadows to collections. Um, but I just broke down. I'm going to expand my eyeshadow collection. I'm going to get them all and I'm going to go in alphabetical order. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to start trying to go alphabetical order. And then, I'm not sure if this is, like, limited because it doesn't come in a cool case. But it, with, they're promoting it with the new, um, the name just totally escaped me. It's, like, it's not hot and naughty. Although, I do want to try that mascara. It is. Oh well. Anyway, um, they're a new collection, and they just, I think it's just being promoted, and I just had to buy it because it matches my personality, because it's called Stubborn Brown, and I am very, very stubborn, so I just had to get it, and it was a pretty color, you know. But I was just like, oh, I have to get this just because of the name. That's how smart Mac is. Anyway, that was my Mac haul. I only got a few products, but I mean, I'm happy with those few products because I got more products from Sephora. And those more products that I purchased at Sephora were, um, I got their Sephora brand, um, tinted moisturizer. I saw a video, a Juicy Sorrow 7 video saying about, like, tinted moisturizer and stuff and um how it's good for the summer but i don't wear foundation at all and i was thinking maybe i can start because i want to have the full face makeup effect because so i can start learning now so i'm going to use the tinted moisturizer i did not buy a foundation brush yet this actually has a pump in it but it's not open i 
haven't bought the foundation brush yet. I'm thinking about it, but first I want to try using it with just my fingers because if I could spend, you know, $30, $40, I think, on a MAC foundation brush or a Sephora brand foundation brush and that I don't need, I'd rather spend that on, a, like, two eyeshadows or something. So I'm going to hold off on the foundation brush for now. But if you see my eyebrows and you've seen my other videos and you've seen how I don't really have eyebrows because I'm naturally blonde and you can't really see it in the video, thank goodness, but I have very, very, very fair skin and strawberry blonde hair and I get it dyed and I'm, I actually really like the color now that I have eyebrows, I think I'm going to keep the color and now that I have eyebrows, I'm going to keep the color. Okay. Um, but I got my makeup, or my eyebrows done by the guy who, he works for Anastasia, and he has done so many celebrities eye makeup. The day yesterday, because I got it done today, um, he did Kim Kardashian's makeup, or he did it recently or something, which is amazing, because he said he loved doing my eyebrows because it was the biggest transformation for him. So, my mom was really nice. Thank you, mom. And she bought me the products. Thank you, mom. Love you. Still watching this video. Anyway, so what I got is I have the um, Strawburn um, powder with the. My mom got me a separate set of stencils because we were the same stencil and she knew I would take it and steal it from her. Um, I have the tinted brow gel, but. Oh, and caramel. This is in caramel, this is the brow gel, um, the highlights, how, so that it comes with, it comes, my mom got the kit, so she just gave me the thing, she didn't really want it. And then there was a sample of their Beverly Hills mascara, and my mom gave that to me because I like mascara, and then she, my mom had, um, I feel like, I wish I knew what these are called, they're called like, just Philly something funny and it's just like it's almost like a mascara wand but it's not and you just use it to kind of set the powder and then this is a brush used to apply the powder I am going to purchase a nicer one and probably um, a MAC one I'm working right now I think I'm going to start working on my MAC brushes I've really been wanting to do that but I just go in and I look at the products and it's really hard for me to decide which MAC brush I like the best um, because MAC brushes tend to be a little bit more expensive, a little bit more pricey and it's just sometimes I just like, it's hard for me to part with that money when I could be spending it on a couple products instead of one brush. But their brushes are so worth it. I really, really want their Kabuki brush. It's $45 but oh my god, please give me that Kabuki brush. Not you guys. I would never accept anything from my subscribers. No, I mean like buy myself the cookie brush. Whatever. Okay. So that video was really clean and confusing and I hope you guys liked it. I'm going to try to do more videos, but doing videos is really hard for me because I don't have my own computer that I can do the videos on, so I'm gonna save up for a camera. Um and stuff and I'll edit everything from my laptop. So um Sorry if the video got really quiet at some times or started talking weird. I can't move my lips because of the um, stitches in it. So it's just like harder for me to talk. If you like me talking like this, then I'll work on it. But um, anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. And feel free to recommend me to your friends. I will start having more makeup videos that rely to doing your own makeup. Even if, well actually, I have a friend who wants me to teach her how to do makeup, I can do that on YouTube. Is that a good idea? Would you guys want to see me doing someone else's makeup? I'll improve the lighting, I promise. But anyway, I've been talking forever, so I'm just going to go. I'll see you guys.